Wow. Thank you so much, our viewers, for being with us. Our program is ongoing, and we already started our program, today's program. And uh, we have the guests in the house. Here is our host, Pastor Evans Juma. I'm saved, and I love Jesus. You too, I believe you love Christ Jesus because he is our maker. And uh, today, we want to talk about something very beautiful. And before we start, I would, I would like to introduce our guest of today. And uh, we start by the word of prayer. Before introduction, kindly, welcome for the word of prayer. Amen. Let us pray. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we do come before you right now, Lord. We pray, Father, for your protection, Lord. Even as we start this program, Father, I want to pray, Father, for your guidance. May you guide our utterance and anything that we are going to discuss, Lord, may it be in accordance to your will. I pray, Jehovah Lord, that you be with us, guide us, and in fact, Jehovah Lord, I pray for your wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Ah, thank you. This day is a very beautiful day and very beautiful evening that God has given unto us. And we want to discuss something beautiful that affects or rather challenges many, many youth people's many youth life. And we are here in the, on the ground. And the guest of today, before we go on, kindly, sir, I'd like you to introduce yourself so that our, our viewers may be well versed. Who is talking to them? <laughs> yes. Amen. Uh, my name is Norman. Mm. Norman Makatela. Makatela. I'm blessed of the Lord. And uh, it is not the first time that I'm here. Sure. And uh, here is home. Here is yes. where we come. We discuss issues that affect our social life. Yes. We discuss issues that affect our youth. Uh -huh. And I'm so glad to be back here again. It is an honor mm. to come back here. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Wow, wow. Thank you so much. Uh, our viewers, wherever you are, please, my request is that please share our program and share broadly. Share the program. Share to your friends and uh, tag a friend. A friend to tag another person. Another person to tag another person. And our program will be very, very, very good and well shared. Now, today's topic is about inferiority in youth life today. And uh, I believe, sir, that uh, this topic, as we're going to talk, is going to be a very impactful uh, episode of today. And uh, we are here. I would like people, you know, none, no, no human being has no uh, feelings. Feelings is from inside and uh, when it is then we would like to understand about the theme of today. Uh, I can see many people, Nyamu Kung, anasema kwamba tuned in, uh, Mukabi David, anasema kwamba following, alafu amazing, Pastor Alex Nero, anasema kwamba tuned in. Please, our viewers, ta tag somebody and tell us where we're getting us, where, how is everything, how is the videography, how is everything, and we will bless God for that. And today, Wherever you are, if you have a question, please send your question. If you have uh, any challenging uh, comment, please send your comment. And we will appreciate. We will appreciate. We are here to dig deeper in the theme of today. Maybe there is somebody who is asking, what is inferiority in people's life? Uh, what meant by the term inferiority? Or rather, uh, how a person can uh, attain the inferiority in his, uh, in, 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 from inside? Ah. Thank you very much, my yes, brother. Yes, sir. Now, uh, in priority complex, it is a complex. Uh -huh. It is not something that is permanent mm -hmm. to somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, and first, if we try to understand the term inferiority mm -hmm. complex, mm -hmm. this is what it means. It simply means somebody. it's a state where somebody is feeling insecure mm -hmm. or inadequate. Inadequate. Yes. Yani you feel like you don't fit to do something. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's, it's what people make you to feel. Mm -hmm. It is not something that is inborn. It is something that you acquire from people, you acquire from, people. from how people talk, mm -hmm. from how people think you are. Mm -hmm. So a person that suffers from this uh, indeficiency mm -hmm. is somebody that, number one, they don't, they don't think of themselves as able. And uh, most youth, because I believe we are talking to the youth, yes, yes. most youth uh, suffer this thing because, number one, uh, we are in a generation that uh, we want things to be done quickly and fast. Sure, sure. 
We want to get money very fast. Very fast. We want to get rich very fast. Very fast. But then, when we reach this point that we cannot attain what we want, mm -hmm. we start feeling like we are failures. Mm -hmm, we sure. start feeling like, ah, Kumbe, this thing is for some few people. Mm -hmm. So, you start to feel inferior. Inferior means you are just demeaning yourself. Yeah, you you are not yourself. seeing yourself as a person that you are to be. Wow, I like That this. you ought to be. You look at yourself as somebody that is little, somebody that cannot do anything. Wow, wow. <laughs> Our viewers, wherever you are, you get maybe you are there, you feel that you cannot do something because of A, B, C, D, and you are there. And uh, maybe you have somebody around that do feel that she's always down, uh, she cannot do anything. Now you are here on the ground to speak something very incredible and help us by sharing. I can see Pastor Peter James Onyango, our elder brother, and Asama Kumba tuned in. God bless you guys. More you and I can see Paris on your and some of following and watching in a lower feeling. Wow, now, sir, we have a you understand the generation that you are in. Eh? People that are trying to do things, they can try to do something to achieve, but uh, uh, on the way, on the way, while they are doing, they, they, they feel that they are totally lowered. Rather, somebody speaks to him that you cannot do this thing. How can you build that person so that he can be strong to go up and to stand strong? In that field. Amen. Now, uh, inferiority complex, when, when uh, for example, uh, things that happen in our day-to-day -day life, yes. people get fired uh -huh. from jobs. Mm -hmm. Relationships break. Mm -hmm. uh, you just wake up and uh, that son of somebody or daughter of somebody decide that, ah, to a channel, it <laughs> cannot work. <laughs> but then, the issue is how you react to that information. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure, sure. The behavior that you show after that information mm -hmm. will determine whether you feel inferior or superior. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You reach a point that you start feeling, ah, why did this person leave me? Mm -hmm. What did I do? Mm -hmm. Now, how you react to such an information is what will determine the state that you are in. Mm -hmm. Some people are inferior but they don't know they sure, suffer sure, from sure. this thing mm, sure. but they don't know because if you are fired from your work sometimes you can be fired like right now uh, because of the pandemic that we're having mm -hmm. many people have lost their jobs mm -hmm. but I'm talking on this fact uh, on this instance that uh, you're, you're being fired uh, your boss just come to the office and say ah I have fired you mm -hmm. Mm? or that person just wake up and tell you somebody that you you are in a romantic relationship with and they come and tell you, it cannot, we, we cannot continue. How will you react to that? A person that is suffering from inferiority complex, this person will, uh, ha will go to a state of self-loop. Self-loop is a, is a state where you feel you're you, you are judging yourself. No? Yeah. You're using harsh words towards yourself. Words yourself yeah. you're, you're, you're thinking, why did this person have to do this to me? Mm -hmm. Not... The, uh, you don't want to solve the reason, uh, the, the thing actually, sure, sure. but you are judging yourself. Mm -hmm. You are too hard on yourself most of the time. Yeah. Now, in our generation, we know that people look at things differently. Mm -hmm. A young man will want to achieve so certain uh, status very fast. Um, sure, sure. Kwanzaa, the peer pressure that we go, we, w we work with, because I, I, I am a young man, uh, I have a group of people who are my friends, but then, uh, we know that social life is different. Sure. But now, this, my friend, is up here. I am here. But I want to be where he is. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to go through the process. The process yeah. I want to jump some stages and reach where yeah, he is. Yeah, sure. But then, the people will always talk. Somebody will come and tell you, ah, my friend, you can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> yeah, I, I always make. I, I, yes, I can. But then... Uh, a person that is positive in their mind because uh, number one thing that will make you know that you are suffering from uh, inferiority complex mm -hmm. is when you believe on the negative words. Mm -hmm. I believe that you are who you are not because of what people say uh -huh. but because of what God is saying to you. If wow. you listen to what men say about you, you will never be you. Uh, you will be who they want who you they to, want be. to be. But mm -hmm. what men want you to be 
does not necessarily mean that is what God wants it to be. Mm-hmm. So when you remove God, actually, I I equate in the inferiority complex to identity crisis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you fail to identify yeah. who you are yeah. and uh, what you can achieve, because if you believe what the Bible says that I am more than a conqueror, conqueror yeah. nobody will come to me as no man and tell me that I'm not a conqueror. Mm-hmm. How? My Bible right. tells me I am. Mm-hmm. But if you don't believe in that, you will start believing what people say. Mm-hmm. You can't. You cannot You cannot buy this car. You cannot own this home. You cannot do this. So when those things come so much to your head and you get engulfed in them, mm-hmm. you, 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 you start not believing who you are supposed to be mm-hmm. and you start being what people what say you are. Uh-huh. And you go to a, a state where you isolate yourself from people. You don't want to interact with people because you see yourself as not no. worthy. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to breathe in and out. <laughs> as I consume those words are very, 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 very arrange smartly. And um, now, uh, Pastor Lisa, I hear you, sir. There is more wisdom in the room. Sure, sure. And the room is getting hot and hotter. Now, for instance, sir, uh, people, uh, for example, you are well doing well in the uh, very in a in a different field that you are, and uh, you find that uh, after doing achieving, then somebody come and lower your self esteem. Then you become a lowered person self esteem. And uh, where to collect yourself, to compose yourself, so that you can keep on carrying on these things, comes difficulty. And uh, inferiority complex actually has affected many people's life, in life in in the world today that we're in. Whereby you find somebody, instead of uh, pushing on, rather you are pushing harder to attain what he, he or she is trying to achieve, then he become tired on the way. Now, what causes a people to be affected by the, this, this monster called inferiority? Number one, uh, I want to tell you up front. Mm. Your self-esteem is tied to your how you will feel. If uh, and your self-esteem is uh, is affected by different things. Sure. Number one, the environment that you're in, mm-hmm. the people that you surround yourself with. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I have a friend who usually tell me, if you walk with five million, <laughs> you are the sixth. You are the sixth million. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but if you walk with ten poor people, you are the next poor person. You are the eleventh person. So now, your 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 self-esteem. It's a state where you see yourself differently. Mm -hmm. I know that you might not be having money, Mm -hmm. but confessing and professing that you are poor becomes a part of you because the Bible says, as a man speaketh, so is he. But if you confess positivity in your life, Mm -hmm. if you speak positivity, I know that right now Mm -hmm. I don't have it, Mm -hmm. but I am going to get it. Mm -hmm. You reach a point that you don't know how you are going to get it, Mm -hmm. But you know you are going to get it. Mm-hmm. It's different by a person who doesn't know that they don't have it and they don't, they don't want to know mm-hmm. how they'll have it. Okay, okay. So you build your self-esteem by first understanding who you are. Mm-hmm. You will not have the greatest self-esteem if you don't know who you are. Uh-huh. And by knowing who you are, how do you know who you are? It's simple. You just l- align yourself in the purpose of God you will understand because every single human being, every single youth out there was created with a purpose. Nobody was just created because God wanted to create. No. You have to achieve a certain specific purpose in this world. And without achieving that, and by the way, immediately you achieve your purpose, you'll, you cease to exist. You'll, uh, because you've run your race. You've accomplished what you're built for. Uh-huh, yeah. What are you still doing? <laughs> <laughs> you go to heaven because you finished your race. You finished your race. But yes. if you don't know why you were yeah. created uh-huh. first, if you don't know your purpose, uh-huh. you will have identity crisis because anything that comes by, mm-hmm. you will follow. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. If people are going this way, you are sure you should be going the west, but you follow them. It means you're not sure where you're going. Mm-hmm. First, for you to overcome inferiority complex and 
low self-esteem, you have to understand first. It comes from within. Mm -hmm. People will see what you see. Uh -huh. As we are going to see you as you see yourself. If you see yourself as not able to achieve, if you see yourself as uh, inferior, mm. if you see some people that they are up here and you, you are down here, that is how we will see you, mm. by the way. In short, we judge you according to how you judge how you yourself. Judge yourself uh -huh. How you carry yourself. Uh -huh. How you dress yourself. Wow. How you communicate with people. Mm -hmm. How you address people wow. will determine how you are being addressed. <laughs> Nobody will approach you and tell you something that you don't approve of. Mm -hmm. And no one can actually tell you what you don't want to be mm -hmm. and you be. Mm -hmm. Now, that point, when you reach there, you will understand that now nobody can actually demean, demean you because I know who I am. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. I am a conqueror. I am more than able to achieve anything. Mm -hmm. But if I don't know all those and you come and tell me I can't, mm -hmm. I will definitely say that I can't. Wow. So, how to know that you're suffering from this, mm. this animal? Yes. Number one, if you find yourself that you're always, always, always considering the negative things that people say, you're suffering from inferiority complex. If I will believe somebody that comes to me and tells me, uh, you know, Norman, you cannot drive. You know, Norman, you cannot own that house. Mm. You know, Norman, you cannot be with that person. When you, who should be with that person? Uh -huh. Who? And I'm there. <laughs> Who? A man <laughs> believes in himself. Uh -huh. Nobody will believe in you for you. For me. You start with believing yourself. Right. Number two, in a, in a work environment, if you see somebody is constantly transferring frustrations to you, mm -hmm. that person is suffering from inferiority complex. Mm -hmm. They want to be seen as superior. If you see somebody that is struggling all the time to prove themselves mm -hmm. to be superior, they are actually inferior. inferior. <laughs> they will come with all the frustration that they get from their home, from their friends, and they come and give it and give put them to you. Uh -huh. And if you put yourself with those things, you become inferior to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you come out of being inferior? Mm -hmm. You first understand that person that you are interacting with. Yeah. What, what, what state are they in? Mm -hmm. uh, because some, some uh, you see, you can, uh, we know that we go through phases in this. Every single person, mm -hmm. we go through a phase that we feel that we are inferior. Sure, 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 sure. But how we react to that feeling is what determines if we are going to come out. Mm -hmm. If we accept this feeling and we say that now, uh, I accept that I cannot. And you profess that I cannot. I cannot. You will never, and you'll never, never, never do it. <laughs> now, now uh, 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 uh -huh. along the same same line, I, I see that we have here a question by Mesh Jackson and Samakom. How, how can I build my self esteem? I, I, I believe you're on the same same track. Now, can you help this guy to, to understand much? Deeper? He's called who? Mesh. Mesh, Mesh Jackson. Ah. No. <laughs> but then, how to build your self-esteem? As mm. I said, mm. it is something that you start it yourself. Mm. You first understand yourself. yourself. It is not something that I will tell you, do this, do this, do this, and your self-esteem will be built. Mm -hmm. No. It is a journey that you start by yourself. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you separate yourself to understand yourself. Mm -hmm. In life, you need a time alone to understand who you are. Mm -hmm. huh? mm. Like now, uh, we, 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 we've we been having this uh, duration that we are having a pandemic. Okay, People pandemic. are yeah, home. Yeah, sure. And uh, this is the time that you'll realize there's so many violence, violence at home. Uh, yeah, sure. Because we never learned to stay with our partners. Mm -hmm. If you tell me that I need to stay in a house, like <laughs> me, me I, I, I cannot stay in a house for two consecutive days. <laughs> but now you are forcing me to stay in this house. Like a few hours. Yes. How will, how will I adjust myself? Uh -huh, hmm? yeah. And now our children are at home. Uh -huh. huh? mm. But uh, right now they could be in schools. Mm. Sure. How do we relate with these children when they are at home? So for you to overcome inferiority or low self-esteem, mm. you first have to 
understand who you are. And it comes from within. Whatever filleth the heart will overflow. Whatever you feel yourself, feed yourself with positivity. Surround yourself with people who are positive. positive uh -huh. Surround yourself with people who impact your life. Mm -hmm. Don't always be the one to feed people. A time will reach mm -hmm. that you'll have nothing to feed them. Mm -hmm. Be a person that feeds people and is being fed. That is why running waters are sweeter than stagnant water. <laughs> because true, true. constantly mm -hmm. there is a rotation, there is a change. Sure, sure. So surround yourself first with people that you can learn something from them. Number one, that is one. Number two, make sure every opportunity you get to learn, learn. Any single opportunity you learn. attain, learn. Even if you have a negative experience, mm. learn. Mm -hmm. If somebody comes and tell you, I cannot be with you, learn. learn. <laughs> Do not ask them why. <laughs> learn why. Learn why. Mm. Ask yourself why. Ask yourself then you go on why is learning. this person telling me this? Is it because I am better or I am um, lower? lower? Uh -huh. Because some people will not be with you simply because you are better than them. Mm -hmm. So if somebody walks out of your life, allow them go. Mm -hmm. Just tell them not to stand on the on the door because they will be blocking your blessings. Hey, <laughs> they should actually a door should be open uh -huh. because. God has, are, has aligned people that will impact your life. It is only you who have not realized that. Sure, sure, sure. So, if somebody constantly tells you, I want to leave, and then you come and start crying, somebody wants to leave me, let them go. It <laughs> only means that you are better than them. Uh -huh. You are a place that they cannot be. And for you to be in your destiny, mm. there are people who you have to shed off. The moment you still continue holding on to them, you will never be where you're supposed to be. Wow. <laughs> I can see many people still tuning in. Thank you so much, our viewers, for being with us. I can see, uh -huh, Njoro Mojo, I see you again. We are here also, Njoro, we see you again, and uh, we appreciate so much. We appreciate our viewers, each and every person that is uh, following us, we value so much, and we appreciate you being with us. It's not an event, by the way. And today, we want to understand why people why people are being affected by this monster called inferiority in from inside. Now, sir, for instance, we've been trying to do something, and uh, after achieving, you achieved, for instance, like uh, three times, but uh, so, uh, instantly somebody come and uh, hit you with a very tough words, and it affects you from inside. It eats you. F uh, uh, for instance, uh, you are going to sit somewhere, it affects your mind, it affects whatever you do, and you find yourself that for sure I'm totally down, and uh, I'm, I'm, by there I'm nobody in front of people. I cannot achieve, even though I, I succeeded, but one person came and induced something very, very sensitive in your heart until you broke down your visions and you said that, you said that let, come on evil, let these things go. Now, such kind of a person, how, how can be rebuilt again? How can he or she be rebuilt up again to stand strong. Yeah. So, I will tell you the same thing I've said. Mm -hmm. Never allow anybody mm -hmm. tell you something about you that you are not. Mm -hmm. Those are things that you block mm -hmm. right from the word go. Block them from your mind mm -hmm. totally. Mm -hmm. People will always talk, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Whether you are brown, people will say, this person is too brown. Mm -hmm. Whether you are dark like me, some people will come and say, this mm -hmm. boy is too dark. too dark. But, if I allow that thing enters into me, it will affect me. Sure, sure. Because I will have a low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. But if I know that uh, being dark is actually a, a good thing, mm -hmm. because uh, I hear people say that uh, we need tall, dark, and handsome and men. Handsome men. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if you tell me I'm dark, I thank you because I know I'm in dark, that category. So always learn to change what people say about you to uh -huh. work for you. If you want, uh, a certain wise man, I was reading a certain book, and this guy said, visionary people walk lonely path under the motivation of their vision. Mm -hmm. If you are a visionary man, a visionary lady, a visionary youth, not everybody will support you. Mm -hmm. mm? And that is why uh, when I was doing my podcast last week, mm. uh, 
by the way, viewers, I have a podcast yes, that yes. I do every week. Uh-huh. So last week, uh, my podcast, I was telling people, be careful with people you call friends. Be careful. Be careful. You call friends. Not every person you call friend is be your friend. friend. Uh-huh. And you should never judge them. Because we have three types of friend. friends. We have, uh, I know I will deviate a bit, but I'll come back. Yeah, no so problem. now, we have uh, constituents, we have confidants, and we have comrades. Compre- <laughs> if you have one confidant, a confidant is this person that will always be there for you. Mm-hmm. Whether it is raining, they will come and help you. If uh-huh. you just call them, they will come. come. They will never give you excuses. If you go to jail, they will come visit you. Mm-hmm. But constituents are people who are with you because of what you stand for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am with you because we go to the same church. Mm-hmm. And most Christians behave this way. Because we come to church, we talk. I don't come to church for three months, you don't check on me. Mm-hmm. Is, are you my friend? Um, I will not just judge <laughs> you. I will not judge you because it is something <laughs> we were just friends because there is something Some we have in common. Us together. That is the church. Uh-huh. But we should go past that. We should, you should check on constantly on your brothers. Mm-hmm. It is a challenge that I give, I give Christians mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. Don't only be a Sunday Christian that check on your brothers on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Check on them each and every single day. Now, now sir, mm. we have here somebody asking, can trauma cause inferiority? Yeah. Now, Trauma affects your mental brain. It is a brain thing. It will affect your mentality, how you think, how you be with I, people. I, 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 I've, I've, I've just brought up that question yeah. uh, uh, according to the theme that we've been yeah. giving out yeah. because it goes hand in hand. Yeah. Yeah. So now, when you are traumatized, mm. it will affect your mentality. Mm-hmm. And when your mentality is affected, mm. it will induce something like fear in you. Mm -hmm. And when you have fear in you, Mm -hmm. it will affect your esteem, Mm -hmm. how you relate with people. Mm -hmm. So a person that is going through trauma, number one, they should see a counselor that will help them Mm -hmm. to overcome the trauma. Because trauma is a side effect or an aftermath Mm -hmm. of something that happened. So you need to see somebody that will help you overcome that trauma. Mm -hmm. And after overcoming you now work on yourself on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. Because like people who suffer from, uh, from accidents, from fire accidents, from water accidents, mm. you find that they have that phobia for water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And when you, uh, you, when you are in this world, you will never miss water. Sure, very true. So you have to learn how to work with the water. <laughs> you lo- you'll have to learn how to be around fire. I so, get you. it is a process. Yeah, sure. They are not inferior, by the way. Mm-hmm. If you suffer from trauma, you are not inferior in any way. You are a work in process, in progress. Mm-hmm. So, you work on yourself daily how to overcome this trauma. Sure. And when you finally come out as an overcomer, you'll be the best person. Because you'll not only be an overcomer, but a conqueror. Mm-hmm. When you conquer fear, because... I believe that fear is the first thing that leads to failure. Sure, sure. Failure itself is not bad. The fear is what is bad. No successful man fears to fail because there is no successful man who has never failed. failed. Check. Very true. Every person that has succeeded, they've failed one point in their life. So if you fear to fail, it means you will never be successful. You fear getting successful, being successful. So what matters is not the fall or the third or the sound of the fall. What matters is the strength of the stand. How you stand up from falling down. How you learn from that fall is what will determine your strength of, of success. Wow, wow. <laughs> I love this. Our viewers, I believe that you are loving this time, minutes to minute and a second to microsecond. I have here somebody... Aha, uh-huh. first Pastor James and Kwamba, people see you as you see yourself. Hash point taken. <laughs> then uh, Bernard, 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 Bernard Mwash and as the government and the church, as the government and the churches contributed 
in any way in causing inferiority among young people? Uh, now, yes in a way and no in a way. <laughs> it is partly <laughs> yes and partly no. <laughs> it is partly yes and partly no because yes. You see, the, the institution, those are institutions yeah, that we are talking true. about. Mm -hmm. When you talk about a church, a church is an institution. The government is an, in an institution. Itself, yeah. And uh, you as a person, you are also an institution. Itself, personally. Yes. Uh -huh. So when, the, the, when the, the things that are being done in church affect you mm -hmm. negatively and you allow them to get into you, because... Uh, let me take one ministry in church. Mm. Praise and worship. I am a worshiper. I am in the congregation. Mm -hmm. I see people worshiping, but I cannot join them. But I am better than them, mm -hmm. but I can't join them. Why? Uh, the question is the why. I'm stopping myself. Uh -huh. Why? Because I fear why? it will affect you. Uh -huh. Definitely it will affect you because you will go home feeling like, I should have done that. And there is no way, if you go home with regrets, you'll tell me that you're not inferior. You should have tried joining and changing. That is why any person that is willing to have change is a leader. A person that is willing to spearhead change is a leader. A leader. And when you allow, uh, because I know people have different styles of leadership, people have different ways of, of doing their things. If you allow somebody else to affect you, how you do your things, there is a, a little bit of inferiority within you. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you don't interact with people. Learn people. Be with them, but let them not determine who you become. You become, wow. you become who God wants you to become, uh -huh. not what people want you to, you to become. Be. Uh -huh. If you see yourself as a cow, you walk like a like cow. A cow. <laughs> you talk like, like a cow. What will stop me from seeing a cow? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, for sure. But if you see yourself as a, a winner, you walk like, like a conqueror. A conqueror yeah. you, you see yourself and you talk like a conqueror. I will never see you as a failure. You have conquered. Number one, you don't need to conquer the world to be a conqueror. To be a conqueror. You just need to conquer your fears what, to be a conqueror. <laughs> <laughs> well, now people, okay, we are running out of time, our viewers and uh, uh, I, I know that you are getting something. People are struggling to build up their, 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 their okay, let me use this simple term, self-esteem. And uh, after building themselves, they found that they are lowered. But now, my question is, how can somebody stabilize, rather build himself or herself to become stable in the field that he, she or his running uh, just to overcome this spirit of inferiority? Okay. When number it comes in. Yes. Number one, uh, I told you, I've said it is a process. Mm. It is not something that you will do once and you say that now I am strong I'm enough. Strong. Uh -huh. It's like a, a building, a foundation. When you're building a foundation, you constantly water it. Constantly pouring water. Uh -huh. The water hardens the membranes. Uh -huh, yeah. So, for you to, be, to build your self-esteem, you surround yourself with people who are positive. Mm -hmm. You avoid negativity. Any person that is bringing a negative energy towards you, run. Mm -hmm. A person that you, you share with your dream and this person tells you you can't, run. run away. Uh -huh. Be very careful who you tell your dream. Mm -hmm. Watch their reaction. If you come with something that you have achieved to your friends and you tell them, do not be so quick to be happy. Watch their reactions. Watch first. Watch first how, how they, they react. react. Because you might be very happy, but this friend that you are telling is not happy for you. Sure, sure. So watch their facial expression. If they're not happy for you, walk away. <laughs> you are in the wrong crowd. Uh -huh. They will never build you. Uh -huh. But if you share your, your, your success with somebody and they're happy for you, mm -hmm. that is the group to be with. Because we call them the destiny helpers. The destiny carriers. And what about if some of them are mocking you? Walk away. Walk away. Okay, they're you, happy. They're you pretending don't, they're no, happy. They're, they're, if, if a person, a genuine happiness you will see, uh -huh. 
A person that is genuinely happy for you, you will know. Visual, uh -huh. A person that pretends to be happy for you, you will know. I got you. Because now. immediately you turn your back, they will laugh uh -huh. or talk uh -huh. behind you. You don't need that th those kind of people if you are to get to where right, you want to right, go. Right. So, sometimes dreams are better kept for yourself. Sure, sure. Let your success talk. Mm -hmm. Don't be too fast to tell people what you want to do. If you tell the wrong group, they will kill your dream. Mm -hmm. Because they will fill you with negativity. Mm -hmm. Ah, how are you going to do it? You can't. In Kiswahili, I love it because uh, there, there are things that I cannot say myself mm -hmm. in my sentence. Mm -hmm. Siwezi, sijui, siwezi enda, siuli niambi, sidani. I can't have those. I can't do everything that I, I purpose to do. This. I love this. So, the moment you keep yourself with people who build you up, constantly you will be built. built uh -huh. Every place that you are as a person, one point in life you had thought of it. Mm -hmm. You can never be where you've never seen. You can never be you where can never only seen. go as far as you can see or imagine. Even, even, it's biblical. Even God yeah. told Abraham, just peruse. Just see? look. And, uh, and let me <laughs> tell you, people think that sky is the limit. Sky is not the limit. <laughs> your mind is the limit. <laughs> as oh. long as you can break the barrier in your mind, your you mind, can uh -huh. achieve everything. Uh -huh. As long as you don't have limitations. Do you know why we have limitations? Mm -hmm. It's because people make the limitations for us. Wezi, you've limited me. But I'm, limit, I'm unlimited. I can I be can anything be that, that I want that I to want be. To be. Uh -huh. But if you limit me, see Wezi, you cannot. I will have that thing in my mind. So mm. if you allow the negative things to, if you feed yourself negativity constantly and, and, and um, finally you will be negative. Mm -hmm. But if you keep yourself that I can't give up, I cannot give up. I've fallen down, but I cannot give up. I know that I have to do this thing. You will just do it at the right time. Now, now sir, thank you so much for that point. Aha, uh -huh. uh, let, let me see here. Makalima Sema tuned in. Wow, thank you so much, my sister. The room is so hot. For sure, it's very hot. <laughs> I can see Joy, the sunshine, and Sema Kwamba, just uh, she's watching. Now, sir, you've been persisting to encounter something. You've been pushing harder to encounter something. Any moment you do, you persist. You persist. You keep on doing because you don't have the spirit of, of, of being uh, that I'm, I'm down, or rather I'm lowered but you don't achieve that thing. Mm. How? Okay, you persisted more than even a hundred times. Keep but on. But you've not yet achieved. But you've been keeping up. Keep on. on. <laughs> keep on. How can you change that cycle or rather that world? You keep on. How now? Now, if uh, I want to use what which analogy now? I am trying. Mm. Let me ask you. Do you know how many times the Apollo brothers tried to build an aeroplane? Mm, I can't guess because I don't know that how the field is being run. Oh. Right. Yeah. So now, they are the people who discovered aeroplane. Mm. Imagine they tried the first time it failed. Mm -hmm. The second time they changed the engine, it failed. Mm -hmm. The third time they put the propeller, it failed. It failed. What if they gave up? Could we be having aeroplanes? I don't think. They Keep on be. doing it until you get it right. Trust the process. Keep on chasing your dream until you reach there. Mm -hmm. If you give up, you know you can be digging. There is some, uh, a picture that I saw somewhere. Somebody was digging for gold. Mm -hmm. And they dug and dug and dug and dug until they were almost getting to, to the, gold. the gold. They gave up. It means you've wasted the entire time that Doing you could have, uh, that energy could have used elsewhere. elsewhere yeah. If you see this dream is viable, mm -hmm. keep on. Your breakthrough is coming. Musicians, uh, this is what I tell people. Uh, ask the content creators and developers. Mm -hmm. I will start my show, like now you have your show, which is very good. Can you, can you actually differentiate your first episode from this episode? Mm -hmm. 
very 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 sure sure because the first one you are trying to put things and they are not working you are keep on changing things to get the perfectionist yeah. that you want and now you are in uh, let us say maybe the 50th episode mm -hmm. it is wow if i start my show and i want my first season 1 to be like your season 50 i am lying to myself <laughs> I got it. I will have jumped 49 seasons, which I must walk through. through. Uh -huh. So, if you start this thing and it fails, do not give up. Wake up. Try to learn what you did wrong and make it right. If you leave it because it is wrong, you start another thing and find it is wrong, you will be a starter and not a completioner. You will, com you will just be starting, 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 starting and not completing. At the end of the year, you look back, you are exhausted, you need to go for vacations, but you don't have the funds because you've wasted everything that you had in starting things. I say, trust the process. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Be persistent. Be disciplined. Three things. Be disciplined. disciplined. Be persistent, persistent. And insist. And keep pushing. Wow. As we finish our program, <laughs> oh boy, I got this. As uh, now, one, one phenomenon I said is uh, that where diploma fails, <laughs> apply first. <laughs> and I don't think if he, if he he was lying, but he was true. He, where diploma fails, apply first. Now, which kind of force you can apply to this kind of inferiority? <laughs> it is uh, <laughs> persisting. It is an inward force. <laughs> I will not talk of gravity. Yes. I will not talk of any other forces, the Van der Waal forces. Mm. No. <laughs> it is a force that you generate from your inside. Sure. You will never overcome this animal called inferiority complex if you don't work on your inside. On your inside. Mm -hmm. If you don't look at yourself. You see, people who don't accept where they are, yeah. they will never work on themselves. on themselves. If you have failed, accept you failed. If there are things that never worked in your relationship, accept. Do not blame. You see, when I start blaming other people, it means I will not be working on that thing. By the way, many people are blaming others. Yeah. Uh, blame how, them. How, how can you overcome? You the, don't okay, blame. You blame. You are doing things Take for sure that, that, that are hindering you to do. Take responsibility of your <laughs> actions. <laughs> Every single person must take responsibility. responsibility. If you have, if li like David, David, uh, David sinned by killing Uriah mm -hmm. and taking the wife. The response, uh, the, the consequence of what he did mm -hmm. was death, uh -huh. death of the son. Sure. You can understand that in seven days, David was praying and not eating. Mm -hmm. After the son died, he stood up, uh, washed himself, and ate. You are taking responsibility of your actions. Your action. You are not giving excuses of your actions. I am late for work. I will take responsibility and I'm I will not that. give excuses. The moment we stop giving excuses, we will learn to overcome low self-esteem. So, wow. Program yourself and around yourself. Uh -huh. I can see Pastor Peter and Samakwamba. Yes, persistence is the key. And uh, I can see Mukabe David and Samakwamba. Very true, sir. Uh -huh. Mesh Jackson, this reminds me when I was starting my first business, I was, I was almost to give up. But I kept in. I kept on trying. Now it has picked up. Wow, thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> Hang in there. Hang in there. <laughs> and, and persist. There is no greener grass the other side. Mm. Water your grass. Water your grass. If your grass is dry, it's because you are not you watering. Are not watering. Do not admire somebody's grass because you don't know how many liters of water uh -huh. they're using. <laughs> Water your grass. Make your grass green. But never be somewhere that you're not appreciated. Mm -hmm. Do not work with people that don't appreciate you. When you understand your value, you will know that you have to be appreciated. You are not paid because you go to school. You, <laughs> you are paid <laughs> because, because of your, what you are doing. Uh -huh. If I am giving 100%, there is no way you are giving me 10%. It is 100 for 100. If I give 100 folds, you give me 100. 100. It is 
it is it is the balance that we need to have so if you know that you are good enough and somebody is trying to make you not good enough uh -huh. they are not good enough for you in fact they are not supposed to be with you uh -huh. you need to be a little selfish and value yourself more mm -hmm. and uh, just allow them live and create space for new people people who will challenge you the right way uh -huh. people who will tell you when you are wrong when you are wrong if you have friends that don't tell you when you are making when a mistake uh -huh. they are not your friends wow i should I be able this. to tell you my friend this is wrong. here yeah. you done wrong but if i don't tell you then you hear me telling another person that you know that person did this and it is wrong that is not your friend and you don't need them for your success <laughs> i will be making mistakes you know as a man you can make a mistake mm. in your business mm. but if i do you don't come and tell me you should have done it this way mm. you're not my friend wow. i will not judge you for telling me i've done wrong i will learn from it from that is why i'm telling you learn every instant learn. learn whatever situation you find yourself in learn, learn. make it a learning process well our viewers uh, i think have gotten something and uh, i believe the room is very sweeter if you're not getting something learn if you want to do something learn whatever you want to be run never water with ne ne never expect green grass until you water yourself wow mr norman you are so Eloquent. Do you have a TV show? Uh, that, 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 program, that, that program of you was. Mwambie tu utafadhali usiogope. My brother. Uh, yes. I have a program mm. that is coming very soon. Very <laughs> it's called Dissect. Where we'll be dissecting each and every. Th when we have a topic, we'll dissect it to Thank maximum. You. Thank you. And at the end, we make sure that we are motivated, we are inspired. It's and coming very yes, soon. Yes, very T soon. Tell him, it's coming very soon. Very soon, and I'm welcoming you on he, board. He, he will be your follower. Yes, <laughs> I'm welcoming him. <laughs> wow, thank you so much, Avias, for being with us. Uh, mm, before we, we accomplish, or rather, we end our program, kindly in one minute, or two, one minute, yeah, uh, just have a word to our viewers before we accomplish our mission of today. Yeah. So, you might be out there mm. and you are trying things and they're not working for you. And you feel like you are about to give up. I am here to tell you again, mm. never give up. Keep on pressing. God knows your timing. It is us who try to uh, fasten God's process. Trust his way. Trust his process. Let him take the lead. Make him the center of everything that you do. Make sure you understand who God is in your life. In that way, you will achieve everything because with him at the cap as the captain, you are more than conqueror. Remember, you are not limited. And wherever you are, just try to fight everything that is fighting you. You will never win a battle until you fight. You will never win a battle until you fight. Now, you are there and uh, you have not received Christ. Remember, you won't accomplish anything out of, out of Christ Jesus. Jesus is everything and the Lord is everything. We believe so and I trust so. I believe Christ is everything. I can see the, the Makalima and the guest has good points. Wow, thank you so much for being with us. And uh, before we accomplish our program of today, Jesus is there for us. Wherever you are, start by God. Second, by you. Third, by planning. Then keep on persisting. You will achieve because God is there for you. You are meant for, for, for a reason, not for nothing. Some people do tell people that uh, you are good for nothing. <laughs> do not allow anybody tell you you are good for nothing. You are good for nothing. You are good for everything. For everything. Just, know, for just know your path. <laughs> you, cannot be, uh, you cannot be every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Sure. Understand where you are and perfect what you are. Wow. Do not allow anybody to tell you you are good at nothing. Mm. God can never create something that is a liability. Mm -hmm. You have to be an asset in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now before we accomplish wherever you are and you believing that you want to accept this, the Jesus Christ and receive him as a personal savior. Please just believe with me and uh, as we pray. Just pray along also, and God will bless you. Just say, dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. 
I appreciate your goodness in my life. Thank you for forgiveness. Forgive my iniquities. Wash me, O Lord, and erase my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of eternity. From today, I make a covenant of being your son and you be my father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we believe and pray. Dear Lord, I say thank you for this show and the program because you've been faithful for us. Say thank you for the guests of today and our viewers, oh God, we cover them by the blood of Jesus. Let your will be done. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Wow, thanks so much, our viewers. Uh, we appreciate you being with us and uh, may God do you good. We love you so much and we love all of you. We are in the room and uh, <laughs> we will miss you till Monday. God bless you so much. Wow.